Hey everybody, this is Clay the Average Gamer. Um, I'm bringing to you a game of demolition tonight, and uh, as you may see, this is not me playing. Um, I've got a. This is going to be one of a uh, two part demolition game. Uh, the first video, we're going to be doing some uh, offense, and the second, we're doing some defense. And um, with me is a friend tonight uh, by the name of Durbin. Um, and uh, this is his first Call of Duty. Uh, video to to bring us and so um, we're going to kind of talk a little bit about demolition and some of the strategies behind it but before we get into that Durbin what's up man hey what's going on man <laughs> well just so everybody kind of knows you mind um, giving everybody um you know telling everybody a little bit about yourself hey uh yeah my name's Durbin my last name is actually Durbin so that's my gamer tag I thought that was kind of cool and uh, I've been playing first-person shooter since about sixth grade when Halo 1 first came out. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of first-person shooters. And uh, I played Halo, Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, you know, religiously. Halo Reach came out, didn't like it. So now I'm in the Call of Duty series, and I'm really enjoying it. It's it's pretty amazing. I, I really like it. But you said, now you've said that you have uh, you had played all of the, the Call of Duties. Is that yeah, 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 I have. But okay. not as religiously as Halo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so we've converted another Halo fan. I feel good about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just so you know, I was a diehard Halo fan. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, um, you know, I don't do a lot of um, gaming or a lot of demolition game type. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of excited that uh, I've got you here to kind of ask you some questions and talk about uh, talk about this game. I know that there's probably a lot of very important um, uh, aspects to the strategy behind demolition, I know that as far as just pure fun, the games that I have played, they are very intense, and I found myself like on the edge of the, my seat the whole time yeah. I was playing, um, just simply yeah. for the fact that it's it, it you're all up in the action the entire game. Um, yep. So anyway, um, if you don't mind, give us a little bit about uh, you know demolition, some of the strategy behind it, and you, you know, um, tell us a little bit about demo. Uh, first off, I think demolition is uh, pretty self-explanatory. You know, the of offensive team. You know, they all spawn with a bomb, and uh, basically, there's two bomb sites on the enemy team, and you have to take them both out before the time runs out. And um, and um, it's pretty simple. And the defensive team, basically, you know, <laughs> they just have to stop the offensive team from doing so. Yeah, and you know, I've noticed that. Um from watching um, both of these videos, that there's your game, your gameplay, uh, your game style. Uh, it, it changes up whenever you're on offense from whenever you're on defense. And I, I guess since we're kind of watching the offensive gameplay right now, um, you, you mind kind of giving us some uh, a heads up as far as kind of like, you know, what what goes through your mind whenever you're starting on um, on on offense, and you know, maybe even a, a little bit about your setup. For sure. Uh, for offense, it's it's actually pretty difficult. I mean, because the the enemy team, you know, they normally they're pretty experienced in the game type. You know, they know where all the spawns are and everything else, so they'll watch certain parts of the parts of the map. And so you kind of have to like adjust your play style. You kind of have to adjust your play style to the enemy team, you know, because they know where you're coming from, you know. Uh, and it's it's pretty difficult. I'm not gonna lie. You have to try and find like a secret route to get to the bomb, you know. And uh, it, it's it's kind of difficult. But on the defense side, it's it's a lot easier because you can pretty much stay in one spot, you know, just watch one area, and then all your other buddies can just hold down the other other parts of the map. Yeah, you know, it seems like whenever I was getting into doing the demo, um, there was a lot of whenever you really start getting into it, it forced you to. Or I don't guess it forced you, but it made me want to rush to get to wherever I am. And whenever you're on offense trying to work your way to right. the defensive um, bomb sites, uh, a lot of times rushing, that's a good way to... I'm guessing that that would be a very good way to get your, yourself killed because you know yep. that they are strategically placed throughout the map um, oh, just waiting for somebody like me <laughs> to yeah. come sprinting around the corner uh, for them yeah. to have a clear line of sight to, to shoot. So, for sure, yeah. and you know that's that's a big part of demolition is finding the you know the best tactical position on the map to have a clear line of sight from from the offensive team you know rushing in and it's 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 pretty difficult I'm not gonna lie on offense no. I I honestly uh, prefer defense and and you'll see from this gameplay that it, it shows. 
Yeah, because I mean, this was a, a a really good game for you, and um, but most of your, uh, I would say probably three quarters of your kills come from when you're actually playing on defense. Yeah, definitely for sure. Yeah. So, um, you know, for me, I would typically think something like a uh, flag jacket would be good, or you, you know, what what kind of setup do you have on this? Uh, right now, I'm running Scavenger Pro. I have a uh, Slide of Hand Pro on and Ninja Pro. Mm -hmm. Uh, scavengers just because, you know, for me, I try at least to get five or six kills before I die. You know, I mean, obviously, anybody would try and do that. But for me, that's kind of like an average. So, you know, ammo gets kind of low after a while. And for me, anyways, I, I think scavenger is an amazing perk. Uh, I can always just pick up uh, the scavenger packs from my fallen uh, comrades and my enemies. So, I mean, it's it's really great. I never I never really run out, you know. Right. Yeah, and I'm yeah. a huge fan of the slide of hand too. So I, I mean, I, I can completely Definitely. understand why you're why you're running that. There's, I mean, if I could count the number of times that I've been shot in the nose um, while I was reloading my gun, I mean, I'm sure oh, that's yeah. happened to everybody. Even with slide of hand, Definitely. it happens, but not. It, it cuts that out uh, tremendously. Yeah, I yeah. I honestly I don't know. I think the reload time is a little bit outrageous for this game. So slide of hand is definitely like it, that's a necessary perk for me. Yeah, yeah. And then um, your last one, you said you're uh, rocking ninja. Is that right? Yeah, ninja. Because uh, honestly, on any of the Call of Duties, I think that ninja is probably the, one of the most important uh, uh, perks, especially for Call of Duty Four and Modern Warfare Two. For this game, it's not so much. I think Treyarch kind of fixed the the sound whoring, if you want to, if that's what you want to call it. But mm -hmm. I still like to have a you know a little silent footstep going on, so I can just kind of sneak sneak my way around the map. Yeah, and you know I've seen a lot of times too. You run around a corner and there being a claymore or something. So, you know, I mean, yeah. for those that that aren't into the sound whoring, like um, you know, ha hacker might, I would think might be good as well. Oh, definitely, yeah. So, anyway, well, you know, here come we're coming to, close to the end of the game here, guys. I, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the gameplay. I hope you've enjoyed the commentary. There's a whole um, second video that you're more than welcome to watch if you enjoyed this. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to both of our channels. This, these videos will actually be posted on both of our channels. So I'll leave uh, links to both of those channels um, in the description, as, uh, as well as a link to the uh, following gameplay. Uh, feel free to rate, comment, or subscribe. Durbin, I appreciate you joining us. And um, you want to say, uh, say bye to everybody? All right, guys. Check you later. Hope you uh, watch the second video. It's definitely a lot better. All right. We're out. <laughs> later. Peace. All right, peace.